A new villain has been introduced in Boruto, and his powers are going to impress everyone. The internet is divided between Naruto and Shinki, but this villain will be one of the most powerful, regardless of who he is. He might have the power of Iron Sand, or even the most powerful techniques of Naruto, which would certainly drive the Boruto fandom crazy, because a villain, Naruto would be too epic. In today's video, you're going to discover all of this and much more. But the most epic and true thing is you becoming a subscriber to the Nerd Fukando channel and gaining a power greater than the Jubi, the power of information and the best Boruto content. So come and join the Nerd Fukando family by subscribing and leaving a comment. Wood style, this fifth Shinju could be Naruto or Shinki, but regardless, this new villain will have control over Wood style. This power comes directly from the chakra of the Jubi which is based on wood style and large-scale natural energy, as well as all nature transformations, including yin yang. In the manga, all Shinjus have shown power using wood style, like Jura, who defeated several Konoha ninjas with this technique, or Hidari, who tried to trap Sarada in his wood style. If this Shinju is indeed Shinki, his wood style will be more basic, allowing him to trap people in trees to absorb chakra, like the divine tree does. Additionally, this new villain could also create wood-based attacks, like Jura demonstrated when piercing Inojin. However, if this new villain is a clone of Naruto, things change drastically. In addition to having all nature transformations, Naruto also has Hashirama's cells in his synthetic arm. So this new villain could demonstrate excellent mastery of wood style, being able to create giant forests and wooden dragons as well as other wood jutsus we've seen in Naruto Shippuden. Regeneration. Whether this new villain is a clone of Naruto or Shinki, this character will have a high level of regeneration. We can affirm this because the Shinjus possess the powerful chakra of the Jubi, which gives them a resistance level above average. This allows them to regenerate from powerful ninjutsus except for extremely destructive techniques like Boruto's Rasengan Uzuhiko which nearly destroyed Hidari completely. Additionally, this new villain will be able to regenerate from lethal attacks using the Divine Tree. In the battle between Boruto and Hidari, the villain was hit by Boruto's Rasengan and used his claw marks to travel to the Jubi's dimension and use the Divine Tree to heal his wounds. This new villain will also have this ability in his arsenal. However, even if this fifth Shinju, who could be Naruto or Shinki, is defeated, he could be revived through his thorny soul. In the latest chapter of the manga, Hidari was brought back to life by the Divine Tree, with the cube being used to resurrect him, so this fifth Shinju will also have this resource. The biggest challenge in defeating the Shinju is hiding the thorny soul, as it needs to decay for the Shinjus to truly die. Claw Marks The claw marks that Code displayed are actually a powerful Shinjutsu used by Shiba Yotsutsuki who became a god after consuming several chakra fruits. Code received Shibai's cells through Amado in an attempt to manifest some of Shibai's power, and the result was the claw marks. This new villain will have this Shinjutsu because Code infused his power into the Jubi, and the Shinjus were created with this power, making it a basic ability among them. Using the claw marks, this new villain will be able to teleport through these marks, as well as spread them across the environment to instantly appear in different locations. This space-time Shinjutsu is not as effective as powers like Amino Tejikara or Hiration when it comes to teleportation. Even so, this new villain will have an extremely powerful ability because the claw marks never disappear once they hit a target. This will allow the villain to appear from anywhere, as well as summon multiple creatures called Claw Grimes with this ability and teleport through them, just as Hidari did when facing Sarada. The only known way to eliminate the claw marks is by using Kawaki's Kokugan to shrink them. Iron Sand Assuming this new Shinju is indeed Shinki, his main power will be the mighty Iron Sand. This Keke Genkai is the most feared ability in the history of the Sand Village and allows the user to manipulate magnetism to shape this sand. In Boruto, Shinki demonstrated various techniques using Iron Sand such as powerful iron wings that allow him to fly and attack his enemies from all directions. This new villain will have the same power as Shinki, and like him, 
will be able to attack his opponents from all directions with his Iron Sand, as well as create powerful barriers that can serve as defense for this Shinju. We must also remember that Shinki can use his Sand to enhance his Taijutsu. This new villain will be able to do the same to increase the strength of his punches, as Iron Sand has great destructive power. Of course, this new Shinju won't be as skilled as Shinki, but he will still be able to create Iron Blades or anything else he desires. It will be interesting if this Shinju targets Mitsuki, as we might finally see a fight between Mitsuki and Shinki, even if it's an evil clone of him. Sealing Jutsu Another power that we know this new Shinju will have is sealing techniques. Based on Shinki's chakra and genes, this villain will be able to use sealing Jutsu with his Iron Sand. One of Shinki's abilities is the power to manipulate puppets with his Iron Sand. These puppets also have the incredible ability to create a powerful seal by biting their opponents. In this way, Shinki can cover a target with his Iron Sand in a very powerful seal. In the anime, he was able to trap Urashiki for a few minutes. Therefore, this new villain will also be able to create seals with his Iron Sand in addition to unique ninjutsu since Iron Sand offers many attack possibilities. Another sealing technique that this new villain will have is wood style. Sealing. We know that all Shinjus can summon Claw Grimes to the battlefield to seal their opponents in the form of trees, but the Shinjus themselves can also use wood style to seal or devour their opponents as Haidari tried to do with Sarada trapping her in his wood style, Rasengan and Giant Rasengan. Besides Shinki, this new Shinju could also be Naruto, although this possibility is less likely, since the characteristics of this villain more closely resemble those of Shinki. However, if this villain is indeed a clone of Naruto, his main power will be the Rasengan. Sasuke's clone was able to use Chidori without any issues, so this villain should be able to mold a Rasengan in his hand, with this ninjutsu, the new villain could manipulate a spiraling sphere of chakra with great destructive power, capable of defeating any character if it hits directly. In addition to the regular Rasengan, this villain would also be able to use the giant Rasengan, as the Shinjus possess the powerful chakra of the Jubi, giving him enough chakra to create multiple giant Rasengans, as well as shadow clones, which are Naruto's trademark. Therefore, we could see this new villain wielding great power, as the giant Rasengan was able to defeat even the Super Mamashiki. This new character could be a significant threat, as the Jubi's Chakra drastically increases the power of the Rasengan. Sage Mode Another power that a potential Naruto clone might have is Sage Mode. I say this because the Jubi's Chakra is essentially natural energy, so a Shinju clone of Naruto would have an easier time learning Sage Mode. This is a power that this new villain might showcase in upcoming chapters of the manga. By using Sage Mode, the Naruto clone would experience a significant boost in physical strength, becoming more resistant than usual and able to use more powerful techniques, as well as enhancing the power of his Taijutsu due to the drastic increase in physical strength. Sage Mode is indeed powerful, but the greatest power here is the power of your subscription with the notification bell activated. This power grants you access to various Baruto videos that we have produced for your entertainment. So become a subscriber to the channel to gain this power. On the screen, there are two videos that you will surely enjoy.